I've got another vintage handbag here to showcase, and this handbag deserves um, to be reviewed by itself. This is a very rare handbag, although you can um, see some of them online several of them are listed online in antique and on ebay and other um, websites but i would still consider this to be an elusive handbag and because of the um, excellent uh, condition uh, it just has several flaws but overall this is in um, great vintage condition i Snagged this from the flea market last Saturday. And uh, when I first saw it, I wanted to buy it. But the seller uh, had a very, very high price tag on this one. So I went around and then I did some research. And uh, I did more digging while I was walking around looking for other things. And I just couldn't you know, shake it off. <laughs> so I went back and uh, bought this. I had limited cash with me. That's why I had to think. <laughs> Unlike before in my previous uh, flea market visits, I had a lot of money with me, cash money with me. But this time I had very, very limited cash. So I had to think about it. And uh, the more I researched, the more I fell in love with the handbag. So I went back and um, bought this. Okay, so this is a um, vintage Saks Fifth Avenue, but it was from this designer called Lucille de Paris. And let me just um, share uh, a little history about the um, designer. Lucille de Paris bags were created by Charles Hahn and his wife, Lucille. They founded a company in Paris during the 1930s and then moved to New York City during the mid-1940s. So it is safe to say that this could have been as early as 1930s to 1940s. They advertised in the New York Times that they made their bags from American alligators and they even had the alligator symbol as part of their logo. So they sold bags at high-end stores. And Princess Margaret was known to purchase a Lucille de Paris bag at Saks Fifth Avenue. The company was very successful until 1969 when the use of alligator skins was banned, thereby forcing the end of production. So it's safe to say this was manufactured... Um, between 1930s to 1969. Uh, regardless, it's still a very, very old handbag. And this vintage, um, and it's a statement to their high quality craftsmanship. Okay, so some of the bags online retail for $895 in antique shops. And um, they're, they have a, a really, really pr a high price tag on them. Okay, so let's look at the bag itself. When I saw this, I was like, oh, it's just so nice. It has a dark brown espresso color chocolate mocha. Uh, I'm sorry I had to put a bag, I mean a book behind it because it won't stand on its own. It's probably too, um, it, it's wobbly on its own. So I had to put that against. <laughs> okay, so when I opened this bag, this is a lizard skin, by the way, you can just tell. I have several uh, lizard skin, but I think some of them are just lizard embossed. But this one is definitely, definitely um, lizard skin. And it has a gold hardware. Look at that. There is no tarnishing at all. And the straps are in excellent condition. I... I used this bag the day after I went to church and I used this bag and I just felt like uh, it was just so cla it's very very classy it's classic and I felt like you know I, ha I have a million dollar <laughs> a million dollars with me okay so I don't know it's, it's just so rich and it's very very elegant and um 
although it may have some uh, tiner, I mean tiny flaws like here. Um, it, it's been pushed out of shape. That's why the skin is slowly popping out. And um, I think I did this one because this was not here when I um, first bought it. Okay. And um, the sides are just absolutely it's very firm. This is a very firm and sturdy handbag. And I think this is the uh, Lucille de Paris uh, logo. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's like an, an outside logo. But inside it has, of course, the um, alligator. This is why... Oh, dear. I'm sorry. I fell in love with this handbag because the moment that I opened it, it was like, wow. It's just in absolutely perfect condition so that's the lucille de paris and that's the crocodile logo it says Saks fifth avenue and i've seen some online they are actually monogrammed or personalized so personalized so um the monogramming uh, i think was popular back then and and it has a coin purse um with vintage handbags, they either have uh, a coin purse that could be detached or attached by a uh, wire or some, I mean, a mirror or comb and look at that. I just love, love the smooth uh, tan color. This, uh, I feel like this was never used at all. It's just in excellent condition. Look at that. That is a Fabrice, by the way. And... It, this has no damage or it, it's it's so new so uh, there are several pockets there's a pocket here I've seen some personalization they put the names here and um, yeah this is gorgeous so this is uh, okay let's just put it in the 1940s and 1950s so this is like oh wow very very old very very old and they are highly collectible because apparently they were only sold in upscale um, department stores so with their clientele like the princess mark like princess margaret and high-end celebrities so look at that this is why i am so impressed with vintage handbags and uh, my shelf is just busting with uh, um, just vintage handbags I have consigned almost all my designer handbags although I still have a few left and uh, yeah look at that it's just absolutely gorgeous and you feel like um, it's, it, it just feels so elegant and I love the way it clips it opens and clips there is no tarnishing at all so this may this handbag may very well be dipped in um, in uh, gold so um, yeah look at that it has stood the test of time and unfortunately I still don't know how to um, take care of exotic skin so I think I'm just gonna have to bring this to the cobbler or yeah uh, because he may have some I think I can order that on Amazon um, for exotic skin leather conditioner but there are some tiny things here that i want them to fix i don't know if they could replace that i think this should be easy because it's just at the bottom it has it's just misshapen a bit but other than that it's gorgeous nobody looks at the bottom anyway but there is a very tiny 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 tear just here and they could just um sew that sew that up um it's no biggie and uh I have uh, just brought four handbags to the um, handbag repair and for this tiny stitch they charge me $15 to um, to sew it up so I, I brought I brought four bags to them just last week so I'm uh, I'm going to pick them up later okay so so such a beautiful such a beautiful beautiful handbag and i still have to get their um, alligator and crocodile skin they are equally stunning as well okay so bye